Oh, not panting, but breathing quickly, so... I think she's been doing a lot of exercise, and I would say she's already walked a few k's. Per, per around maybe three k's or so, just in terms of all the loops that she's been doing all around. So she's had a good morning walk already. I don't think, however, that she's going to stick around here for too long, because earlier on, she was just standing next to the next to the tree and then she sat down and now she's lying down so I and you can see that she still hasn't decided that this is a good place to sleep so I don't think she's done moving maybe she's just resting Heather you're wondering if she is sticking around close to the trees or she's laying around close to the trees for because she feels safety or for safety um, it could be leopards feel very safe in thick vegetation and often that's where they'll go when they are either going hunting and they want to stalk something or they're hiding from somewhere or even where they hide their cubs when they're tiny tiny little creatures so it'll be either in a drainage line like this one or where there's very thick vegetation or close to trees where they can jump up and um, step away from danger should need a rise to. I think in this case the tree just happened to be there and maybe she feels comfortable having the tree there in between her and us. Oh. Although she hasn't showed any sign of aggression towards us. I think she's just doing her own thing this morning. I think it's been a bit of a mix between patrol territory, which animals spend a lot of time doing, particularly territorial animals like lions and leopards, but I think also a little bit of indecisiveness. I, will, I would assume that she wanted to go and have a drink, and I think now she remembered that the dam is not too far, so she keeps gazing in the direction of the dam, but I don't know if maybe she's just got more pressing matters or which is going to override, the need for a drink or the need to carry on scent marking. But you can see she's definitely still up to something. As many are wondering if a leopard's urine smells like popcorn. Um, it does. It actually funny, especially for the male leopards, it does smell like buttery popcorn. And I don't know why it smells this way, but often when we drive around and we pick up that smell, we, we laugh because like, mmm, popcorn, there was a leopard somewhere around here. So, <laughs> so yes, it does. That is true. It's very strong smell and probably such a strong smell is meant to last longer so that the smell where a particular animal has marked its territory will last longer. A lot longer so to serve as an advertisement for the next leopard that comes around and or can already smell it and be like hmm okay this area has already been marked you see she's quite indecisive today I think she's she's getting tired and maybe it's about time for her to maybe relax and have a bit of a nap but I think also she doesn't really want to she seems to be conflicted It's funny, she reminds me, that look of her reminds me a lot of a leopard called Magon's one, which I think it was actually Mbula's mom, if I'm not mistaken. And the same, you know, that that look on her face. A bit of grooming going on. She has been walking through some tough areas this morning, so lots of ticks and seeds and everything that's been attaching to her skin or her coat. Cute chemistry. You're wondering, in my opinion, which animal is the biggest diva? Is that correct, Lou? Divas. Well, I think lions, to be honest. Male lions are the biggest divas around. You will always see them lying down in the wind, flowing in their mane, and their mane stepping away from their faces, and always looking so so regal so <laughs> I think male lions are the biggest divas around <laughs> I always like to look pretty and you know just be adored so if I had to choose one I would go for male lions <laughs> Him? yeah the way that they move their hair and their mane in the wind the way they start sniffing around and pretending that they're sniffing but actually all they want to do is show off their mane <laughs> male lions for sure <laughs> yeah, I mean, Lou is bringing up another point, saying that also they, they like being provided for. <laughs> so, yeah, I think male lions win the diva competition. I think the female lions and leopards are very, 
how can I say this, very industrial, very laborious. They're always up to something, either providing for their young ones or scent marking. They always seem to be busy, busy bees. As we've seen with Tandy today, it is the first time that she's actually started grooming herself. Career driven, yes, that's probably a better way of calling these beautiful gals. Now, it's a little bit wet, so I'm sure Tandy's coat is not as clean as it should be, and maybe there are little seeds here and there that are bothering her, and that's why she started grooming. Trying to get rid of some of the things. Maybe she is finally done for the day, and she's decided to, to lay down. However, with this weather, I don't think she's going to be here this afternoon. Likely she would have moved off, or she will move off and carry on somewhere else but she is going I have never seen her this far up she normally sticks more to the Molowati and it's interesting because often when we see female leopard tracks in this area we tend to think that it's shadow but now we know that Tandi also walks in this particular or following this particular direction I am sorry but we've just discovered that we always thought it was shadow she's like ugh, humans you understand nothing 